The Oates family migration into the western frontier of Virginia is full of mystery and intrigue, but records indicate their arrival to the region about 1782. Jacob Hover was a German immigrant into the Pennsylvania German settlements. He was a noted pacifist like other Quakers in the region. Jacob would be mustered into the Pennsylvania militia during the Revolutionary War. It appears that Jacob changed his last name to Oates to avoid detection around 1802, but both names appear on the same land record with the notation, quote, take your choice of either name, for they are one and the same person, end of quote. It is believed during the winter of 1782 that Christopher Sloanacre and Jacob Javier deserted their unit, made their way through the backwoods of Pennsylvania, crossed the Potomac, and eventually ended their flight by settling at a place on Timber Ridge. The families of Jacob Oates, his friend Christopher Sloanacre, and Jacob Kearns would intermarry and raise their families in what is now Hampshire County, West Virginia. It is from this family line that Billy and James Oates would take up farming and timbering in the little mountain hamlet once known as Egypt. James Oates would raise as many as five boys but moved further west around the year of 1924. In this episode, the Appalachian History Detectives, in collaboration with the Aqua Chigger, investigate the Jim Oates homestead. Will we find evidences of his farming pastime, his involvement in the logging industry, or the daily life of his family on this remote piece of land? Stay tuned. Okay, still in there. All right, you guys. I see it. I see it. Do you guys see it? It's right there. I think it's a coin. Yeah. And it doesn't have much green on it. It looks like a maybe a, a nickel. Let me clean this up. I'll get right right back with you guys. It is a V nickel. Oh, the chick's going to be real happy. I can't wait to show him this. You know, this is the first coin we have found on this entire mountain on all these sites so far. This is the first coin. That is awesome. Let's keep going. All right. Very small metal. It's ringing up so high. Okay. It rang high. So I don't know. I think it's lead. Yep. That is a piece of melted lead. So we'll keep looking around here a little more. But that's what that is. Here is a snake. The chick and I were just talking about the button he found. And I saw this snake. It's a stub tail. It could be a copperhead. Look yeah, at the stub tail. Yeah, stub tail. That's old copperhead right there. Pick it up. Man, you I sitting over here in this foundation. I mean, um, catch it. Catch it. Yeah, look at the stub tail. What kind is it? I don't know. It's got a, a really slender head, though. A copperhead would have a thick, chunky head. Down here, you can see it. <laughs> Big spider right there. <laughs> Carrying a nest of babies. Hey, yeah, I'm not going to pick it up because I'm not particularly... Yeah, I don't know. Hey, look at that. Oh. 
Right there it is. It's a harmonica reed. Looky there. That's a good find. There we go. Okay, I found a big iron here. Okay, what is this? You know what? I think this is a piece of a skillet. This was the handle. It's a handle of a skillet. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That's pretty cool, actually. See where I'm at? Right there's the chimney pile. I've just come straight up through here. So I'll put that up there on the chimney pile and we'll take a picture and I'll show it to Bo. Okay, I got a pretty high signal here. It's probably iron, big iron. You know, let's dig that up. It's probably big iron. Right here on the surface. You know it is. Right there it is. Right there it is. Right on the surface. Well, we don't have to dig it at least. Okay, I got a mid-tone in here. Anywhere from a 45 to a 55. It's down in here still. Oh, there it is. I don't know what that is. You can see it comes up comes up to a point. I think it might have come off of a wagon wheel, maybe a piece of a wagon wheel. Is it iron right there? There it is. It's an iron it's an iron ring. It's horse tack, probably from a bridle. You know, when I see a hearth, a fireplace like that, up in the woods like this, and you can see the yard, this is the yard that went out. So far in the middle of nowhere. Miles in the middle of nowhere. But I think about the handle of that skillet I found. And I think about the bacon, the potatoes, the things they fried in that skillet. The love that was in this house, husband, wife, maybe kids, that lived here. What they experienced and saw out here every day. Looks like there might have been an old road bed right up there. Could have been a barn up there. Just Appalachian mountain people living up here. A simple life. Pioneers scratching out a living. Time has totally passed them by totally forgotten and here we are telling their story and I'm glad you guys are here to see it as we uncover it okay I didn't film the dig because I was pulling out those pieces of flat tin probably from the roof and I came across this bracket and I think this went to a door and there's a handle on this side and there was a handle on this side and the door either burnt away or the door just rotted away but I think that's what that is that's pretty cool they were still the same spot but it's big iron but I think this came off of a door okay this one is reading a solid 75 to 77 so we're gonna we're gonna dig that up right there Yep, right there it is. Alright. See, we got a hoop probably from a wagon. That's not all. Looky there. Oh, looky there. It is 
it is a cork top bottle I'm glad I didn't break that that's cool it has looks like it says 311 right there it has 311 and there's two stars above the ones so that's what I pulled out of that hole right there okay I was digging in this hole here and I found a piece a piece of kettle I think this is top of part of a lid top of a kettle lid I think that's what that is I'll take this over here and I will show you our collection so far so here we have that pot lid that I found I think it's probably part of that I think that fits right there I didn't show you this piece yet but I dug that up I think it's part of an old horse drawn plow okay there's the aqua chigger don't know how well he's doing yet we're gonna go right back up here where I'm at I actually wanted to show you this interesting tree look at this can you see that grapevine going up it I think that's an old apple tree and look how that fans out like that you see that that's pretty cool I believe the road bed is up there you can see the stone wall I believe this was the garden area here the house stood right there I'm searching this whole area the chig is searching the perimeter right now and he's right up there yes. look at that what is this let me knock some of that dirt out all right there it is they go on the back of a tractor maybe a pto i don't know let me knock a little bit more out yeah i don't know has anyone seen anything like that i don't know i don't know how old that is i don't even know what it was used for but it's an artifact okay i got a 75 74 76 right here so I'm gonna dig that out right there all right it's in the plug right here you guys see let's try this right here so let's break it open You see it yet? Uh, is that it? Is that a lead bullet? Let's see if that's it. Yep. That's it right there. You know, I think that's a, it's a shot. That's a shot modern shell right there. Okay. All right, I just pulled this out of the ground. Look at that. Anybody know what that is? I believe I'm on the site of an old barn so there's the corner there's a corner there there's a corner there there's a corner back there and there's a corner there and this is either a barn or an older cabin I don't know but I just found that right there and we're gonna check this whole area out right here I think there was a, a privy right here there's a hole right here could have been a privy here. I have no clue where the aqua chigger is. I haven't seen him in a while. So he's probably looking for another homestead. I don't know, but we're gonna check this place out right here. Okay, I just dug this up. Look at that, it looks like a piece of old hand forged iron. I wonder if this went on a bridle of a horse. I'm still on this barn, I believe this is a barn. I just started up through here, so I'm going to go around it. But that's an interesting find right there. 
Okay, I just pulled this right here out of that little hole right there. I'll show you. I dug into it and it hit that. So I pulled this out. Does anybody have any idea what that is? Can you see how it's curved and there's a hole there? A hole there. Could have gone like that on something. Boy, I tell you, these old, these old timers, they had it rough up here. They had to make everything. It's an old piece of iron, piece of farm iron. Sure, son. Get down this hole. Oh man, it's big. It's a big piece of iron. I found one of those by the house. Alright, I've been finding a lot of big iron. Had a good hit there, pulled everything out. And this is real interesting. This is, I believe this went to a bridle or a saddle. Here's the buckle. And here's the rivet that still has some remnants of leather with it. That's real cool. I think that's awesome. I can't wait to clean that up. Okay, so I'm not going to clean this up anymore. Isn't that beautiful? It's a nice brass rivet with the leather still on it. And there's an old horse tack buckle right there. It's a good find. All right, I am at a rock pile. And of course, I got something in my hand. And uh, it looks like this one's not bent back, but that one is, and that one is. Could this have sat down, maybe, on the hearth? You could put a pot kettle on that to heat it up in the coals. I wonder if that's what that is. But I'll take it up to the aqua chigger and see what he thinks it is. What is it? Uh, what is it? What might it be? You know, I don't know, but I've seen these many times before. Kind of reminds me of a uh, thing you put on the stove, like a wok. Yep, that's you know? what I said. But I don't know, because why would it be? I, I, I told him, I said, I thought the same thing. Mm -hmm. This went down in the coals. They put a bed of coals, and they put a pot on there, or a kettle. And maybe they had a bean pot or a soup pot, and they kept that warm during the day or in the but, evening. You know, that's kind of what it looks like, but... I'm going to call shenanigans on it. It's got a bevel to it. it kind of comes in, and it's, well, I don't think it would be pointy. It's like, uh. pointy like that. Two of them are bent over. Almost like wood would have gone through there, I'm thinking. They bent that over into the wood. You can see how it was put together right there. Yeah. See well, that? Yeah. Hand forge welded. Hand forge I'm welded. I'm thinking. If any of you guys know what that is, please comment. Hello everyone, um, I'm here with the Aqua Chigger and we are going to do a wrap up. I thought I would just give an overview. Most of this stuff you've seen me dig, some of you have not. And then I'm going to show you what the Chig has dug. And uh, if there's anything in there that you see, some of this stuff you can't identify and I can't identify. So we'll come to you guys and ask you guys to identify it. So we are at the Jim Oates house. Jim, Jim Oates. Oates. Jim Oates. His brother Billy Oates lives further up the valley. But anyway, I'm just going to give you just a quick panoramic. Uh, this is that skillet uh, handle you guys saw me dig. I just thought that was real interesting, that lid. The chig didn't really know what that was any more than I did, but I, I think we're pretty close on that, but who knows. If you guys know what that is, please let us know. And then uh, here's my special stuff. Here's, a, here's that rivet. I want to clean that up. I'll get a picture of that. But it still has some old leather on there. My Any V nickel. Lace? What's that? Any lace? N no. No lace. And my harmonica reed in my bottle. I'm gonna take that with me. Like his bad. Lace. <laughs> you my fans will get that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's go over here. Bo found a bottle too. I think his is a ketchup bottle. Alright. That is interesting. He did find 
this full brass shotgun shell and these actually are really hard to find and they're old I believe these, these are anywhere from 1870 to 1880 that's that's what I think the Chig also found this if you guys know what this is it's brass and uh, you know we're joking teasing around but they use brass for moonshine and steels and up in here buddy you could find moonshine stills just about anywhere and okay he found this I don't know what that is it says I don't know essential uh, I don't know charity something charity I can't read it you guys read that can you read that I don't know here's the only button we found we both found the only button and I found the only coin Here's some old shotgun shells and his old ketchup bottle. What are those things? Yeah, what? If you guys know what these are, what are these? I don't know. I found about 20 of them in one hole. That is and odd. There's no metal in them. Well, how'd you find them then? I was digging something else. If you guys know what these are, please let us know. And this looks like a lock. Is this from a lock? I think it might be. Cover from watch. Watch? That's pretty cool. Pocket watch. Clean it up shine it up all right did i get the snot off my nose social distancing but we got another great dig coming up you guys have to stay tuned we'll catch you on the next episode let's talk about uh jim oates house the Jim Oates house, you know, evidences of a chimney up there. We found it, and it uh, looks like there used to be a barn beside it. And uh, we actually found evidences of an old moonshine still up there. Very possible, very possible. Do you remember, was that house standing when you were a kid? No, I don't remember anything but a little bit of part of a chimney. We Jim Oates, what do you know of him? What's with that family? How'd they get up there? Do they have an association with your family? and? I don't know. Uh, they stopped one day and asked Granddad if he was interested in buying it. He said, now, you know, I want first first chance at it. What you got to have for it? I think they told him six and a quarter. He said, that's pretty high. How about 600? <laughs> <laughs> they sold it to him, and it wasn't but a very short time until they came and wanted to buy it back. But he wouldn't have heard of that. Jim Oates Place. And that would seem me there's another piece of property in there. Well, I found a big piece of lead. It's obviously from a piece of equipment in that flat area between Jim Oates' house and the Lupton house. And it's real kind of rocky, but it looks like there might have been a field there one time. But I found it was just a big piece of lead. One place, old railroad track, huh? That, they wanted to put the track up through the meadow across a little drain from the schoolhouse and up along the side of the meadow and granddad told him he said uh, I'll let you if you'll promise not to cut the hip and timber on the place and they said okay and I think he requested that uh, a man follow the engine out there too on count of sparks <laughs>